There once was a lady in waiting, let's call her Jane. That girl wasn't ordinary. No way for me, a lady stuck in waiting. I'd rather battle fire breathing dragons. I knew I could prove that a girl could be a knight, though my friends all laughed at me. But I wouldn't be discouraged and trained in secret. Then a dragon pinched the royal prince, and everyone was freaking. So I went alone to the dragon's home to slay the dragon. The young prince, then the king made me a knight apprentice. Hey now, hey now, now. With dragon's help, I'll be a knight someday. Jane? Jane? You watching, Jane? You will not want to miss my dramatic new landing. Ta-da! How was that? Well, um, uh, much better than last time. No stampeding horses. Oh, calm down, plow puller. I'm a dragon, not a sparrow. Your Majesty, this portrait of the Queen, while beautiful, I am sure, cost the kingdom. I cannot even say it. Can one really put a price on beauty, Chamberlain? Apparently the artist could, sire. Now, now, I am certain we will have plenty of money left for the grand unveiling. G grand unveiling? Nothing gaudy, just a little music, festivities, and an eight-course banquet. No rush. Tomorrow will be fine. <sighs> music, Father? Are you organizing a party? So it would seem. A painting, a party, and a very large headache. Lucky me. Whatever next? Well, since you ask, I could use a 12-foot tail scarf. <sighs> what came to chili? Dragon, I just had the most brilliant idea. What if tomorrow, right after the unveiling, you and I fly over the banquet and you spell out, congratulations in smoke? Inspired, Jane. And I could breathe fireballs and juggle them while dancing a merry jig. Could you? No, I'm a dragon, Jane, not a short-life entertainer. Sorry, just trying to make the Queen's Day a bit more special. But I could do an aerobatic display. Perfect, they will love that. Yeah, a magnificent triple pipe dive, falling out of the sky, dropping like a boulder, and then, at the last moment, swoosh, claws down, tail up, a barely controlled high-speed landing right at the feet of the Queen herself. The uh, aerobatics will be enough. I insist, Jane. Nothing but the best for your royal friends. Y yes, very generous. But perhaps I should clear it with the king first. And so, your majesties, I feel sure the aerobatic display would be enough. And since this new landing is yet to be perfected, I should just tell Dragon... It is a marvellous idea. It is? Yes, indeed. Just the sort of grand finale the unveiling gallon needs. And completely free. Thrifty thinking, Jane. Well done. Um, did I mention that Dragon has not quite perfected it yet? Oh, a bit of practice should work out the sticky bits. Quite right, Majesty. The Dragon landing is certain to be a smashing success. I think you may be all too right, Father. Princess, that is good news. And and Jane and a beautiful picture of my mother. She is the most beautiful woman in all of the whole wide land. Yes, she is. The Queen is very beautiful. Oh, but you are lovely too, Jane. Thank you, Princess. But I really must go now. Very lovely. Jane. Have you heard the news of the gala tomorrow? <laughs> uh, yes, Sir Theodore. Everyone seems most excited. And you and Gunther have an important duty to perform. I am entrusting you We with... get to guard the Queen's portrait till the unveiling. I am honoured to be given such an important assignment, Sir Theodore. No one is to be allowed in the throne room until tomorrow's festivities. And I claim the first shift. 
Just be careful not to poke the painting, lad. All right, dragon. One last go, then I must take my turn guarding the portrait. Be prepared to be amazed. Needed a new gate anyway. Ah! Great. Keep practicing. Just not so close to anything. is not part of the job. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the daring dragon and his death-defying landing guard. Dragon! You crazy newt! Are you hurt? Oh, a little hurt that you missed a perfectly brilliant landing. Obviously. I must get back to my post. Are there any livestock or peasants underneath you? Mm, just a few assorted potted plants. In that case, I have a painting to guard. And apparently, the business end of a pitchfork. Oh! Ah! Why, thank you, Princess. Father! <laughs> Maybe you should. My loyal subjects, it is with great delight that I reveal a portrait of my queen. A true rendering that captures her incomparable beauty. healthy crowd down below. Who would dare besmirch the image of my beloved wife? Obviously someone with a very bizarre sense of humour. You think this is amusing, Jester? Uh, no, no, sire. Nothing funny here. Uh, except for the irony. Uh, the, the Queen's pristine beauty. Sullied. Not even ironic. Just bad. Shame. Shame on whatever non-Jester did this. Dear, I am sure the Jester had nothing to do with this harmless prank. Harmless? I demand that whoever committed this heinous crime be brought before me. Did either of you apprentices notice anyone lurking around the throne room while you stood guard? No, no sir. sir. And you never once left your post? No, sir. Jane? Regretfully, I left the throne room for the briefest of moments. Disappointing, Jane. That must have been when the vandal struck. I failed you, Your Majesties. Indeed, you did, Jane. Such carelessness is completely unacceptable. I vow to make amends by bringing the scoundrel to justice. I fear you will be too busy doing menial chores, Jane, as befits such dereliction of duty. Yes, Sir Theodore. Tracking down the culprit will be the duty of knights who take their responsibilities more seriously. That would include me, Jane? Yep, I have teased them long enough. Time for my descent into legend. Whee -hee! Have this portrait sent to the wizard's tower for repair immediately. At once, your majesty. And let us consider these festivities over. Jane? Clean up commences! 
passing, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Ooh, tough crowd. I know these chores are a punishment, Jane, but it is so nice to have company in the kitchen. Right? Smithy? Once in a while. But neither of them can dice a carrot like you. And you are a much better listener. Hmm? Sorry, Peppa. Still trying to figure out who in the castle could have done such a dastardly deed. Oh, the Queen's picture. Pity. Shall I teach you how to make a tart? Not Sir Ivan. He has no motive. It was me. I defaced the picture. And yesterday I ate the pig's dinner. From her feeding trough. Sorry, did you say something? <sighs> Nothing. Turn up? I suppose. Something will turn up soon. I know. You do? Yes. Fetch the rolling pin, helper. We are making a cherry pie. <sighs> See to this, will you, washerwoman? A knight does the king's bidding, no matter how humble the duty. Well spoken, wench. Sir Ivan prefers his socks folded, not rolled. Ugh. And a true knight would help a colleague out. No time. Real duties to perform. Portrait defacer on the loose, you know. Speaking of which, can you vouch for your whereabouts after you left the throne room? Are you serious? Are you suggesting that I would... Sneak back and vandalize the Queen's portrait to make your rival apprentice look the fool? Nice try, but no. And a knight need not explain himself to a laundry maid. Enjoy your stocking soup. Ooh. Loyal subjects, I bring good tidings. The wizard has used his alchemy to remove the offending black marks from the Queen's portrait. So, in celebration, a second royal unveiling will be held tomorrow, complete with all the entertainment that was originally planned. Yeah! Hear that, Jane? Tomorrow, those people will be screaming for me. Screaming, yes, and running for their lives. I heard that. Dar removal is really my bailiwick, Jane. Let me help. No, Smithy. It is my duty, and the horse's duty, alone. First stop, Rake's Garden. Careful where you step, Your Majesty. <laughs> Very funny, but too late. I have already earned the title <clears throat> of Dung Queen. Y your Majesty, please excuse my appearance and scent. Smithy, please excuse us. Of course, Highness. Your Majesty, allow me to repeat how sorry I am for failing you. Your apology is not accepted, Jane, for I believe you have been reprimanded much too harshly. Um, Your Highness is very kind, but to regain your favour I would do any task, no matter how lowly. Is there a task more lowly? I certainly hope not. I... I must go. My wings are getting tired, Jane. Can we go home now? No. Protecting her portrait is the least I can do for my queen. Now what about me? I need to rest up for my big performance tomorrow. Oh, I've been flapping for an hour. Do you really think Gunther's going to try again? It may not be Gunther. All I said was, look. I knew it. Careful, dragon. This is urgent. Nothing fancy this time. There, one boring sparrow landing. Whistle if you need a little fire. Halt! Your Majesty? <laughs> oh. I was just checking on the wizard's handiwork. Champion job. Your Majesty looks as beautiful as ever. 
except for that blemish on my cheek. Blemish? I see nothing but perfection. What is so perfect about my long forehead? Oh, and what are those lines around my mouth? Dreadful. Smile lines? What could be dreadful about a smile? Like that. You are too kind, Jane. With your leave, Your Highness. I have more chores in the morning. <coughs> Your Majesty. <laughs> Majesty? It is true. I am the guilty one. You? But... Dear Jane, you had to endure harsh punishment for a deed I alone committed. Can you ever find it in your heart to forgive me? Of course. You accepted your burden with such grace and honor, and now you are burdened with this truth. But why would you ruin your own portrait? I am not proud of what I did, but I am even less proud of the way I look. I cannot bear the thought of my face hanging on the walls for all to see. But you are so beautiful. Everyone feels that way. And everyone expects me to be the model of propriety and perfection. I cannot even blow my nose for fear of appearing unladylike. I envy you, Jane. You envy me? But I have always admired your majesty's grace and beauty. Look at me. I have never really cared about my looks. Precisely. That is what I envy most, my dear. You have every right to divulge what I have done, but I beg you not to. I promise, on one condition. You never deface your portrait again. I promise, but I will not promise to like it. I know you are there, scoundrel. Mr. Had I not been so alert, the artless dodger would have struck again. Had you been more alert, you would have captured him. And I will, for I was able to capture his footprint. Once the shoe fits, I shall have him. <laughs> Crafty, eh? Surprisingly so. Oh, uh, <clears throat> Sir Theodore, uh, your boots are quite handsome. May I see one? Uh, you'll be happy to know, Sir Theodore, you are not the Vandal. Most reassuring. Admit it, Jane. Is there anything more exciting than serving food at a royal gala? Riding on the back of a dragon during a thunderstorm comes close. Which reminds me... Oh, serving girl, this is overcooked. How dare you serve a chicken like this? Now, Gunther, I would serve you no matter how cowardly you are. Almost amusing for a kitchen hand. But, oh. mm, not you. Carry on. My loyal subjects. Once again, we gather to celebrate the unrivaled beauty of my wife and queen. To wit, I give you the painting I call a portrait of my wife and queen. I have caught the portrait vandal. And his identity is... Jean. <gasps> no, there has been a mistake. Jane, were you in the throne room last night? Well, yes, I was. Then perhaps you should rethink your answer, bearing in mind the knight's code of honor. Did you vandalize the queen's portrait? No, Sir Theodore. I did not. I have the evidence, girl. If you did not do it, who did? I can't 
cannot say. So you know who did it. If you value your apprenticeship, you had best give me an honest answer. Jane, who is the Vandal? Sir Theodore, Jane is innocent. But, Your Highness... I assure you, the real culprit feels very remorseful, has been duly punished, and has vowed never to do it again. Darling, how could you possibly know all this? Because I am the guilty party. What? You ruined your own portrait? But, dearest, why would you do such a thing? Because I cannot see the perfection you praise so highly. Dragon, wait! No! Plenty of height and drop into... Dragon, I am sorry I ever doubted you. You doubted me? When? Uh, listen to all those cheers. Please, I am only one dragon. I suppose it will look nice in the parlour after all.